Now we are done with the prerequisite. Now let's start about with our lesson objectives. First thing we want to do is find the product of two binomial ax plus by times cx plus dy or ax minus by times cx minus dy and then of course simplify and also try to verify this by means of areas of rectangle or squares. Now that means I need to multiply the second parenthesis first by ax and then by by. So I get ax times cx plus dy plus by time cx plus dy. Use the distributive law, I get ax times cx, which I get a c x squared. And then ax times dy, I get a d x y plus b y times cx give us b c x y. We need to recognize here a and b are like numbers, x and y are like variables. So we're going to put a, b, z, d in front always. So you get a b, c, x, y plus b, y times d, y. Get b, d, y squared. Now these both are x, y terms. That means we can combine them, so we get a c x squared plus a d plus b c x y plus b d y squared. So this part is not really necessary, you can keep over here. Now let's look at this, I put into an example. Suppose we want to multiply 2x plus 3y with 4x plus 5y. So I have to multiply the second parenthesis by 2x. So you get 2x times 4x plus 5y. plus 3y times 4x plus 5y. Now, so using distributive law here, 2x times 4x, which I give 8x squared, 2x times 5y give me, 2x times 5y give me, 10xy and 3y times 4x is 12xy plus 3y times 5y is 15y squared. Now, now when you want to multiply 2x plus 3y with 4x plus 5y, we can think this one as the length of a rectangle and this one has the width of the rectangle and we have just tried to find the area of the rectangle because the area is the length time the width that means we can consider a rectangle of length 2x plus 3y so this is 2x and this is 3y so you get 2x plus 3y the length and the width of 4x plus 5y, the width of 4x plus 5y. Now, L times W or 2x plus 3y times 4x plus 5y is the area of the, the larger rectangle. And now let's try to find the area of the smaller rectangles. As you see here, the area of the large one is equal to the sum of the area of the smaller ones. Now the area of the blue rectangle is 
the 2x times 4x, which is 8x squared. And an area of this rectangle, because next what you're going to find is 2x times 5y, which is same as the area of this rectangle. The length is 2x, the width is 5y. So that is equal to 10 xy. That's what we have over here, 10 xy. Now we multiply 3y with 4x. So let's consider the area of this rectangle here. The length is 3y and the width, which is same as this one, which is 4x. So we get this area, 3 times 3y times 4x, which is 12xy, this one. And area of this rectangle, the length is 3y and the width is 5y. So we get 3y times 5y, which is 15y squared. So that's what we got this result. Now suppose we want to do this one, square of a binomial expression, ax plus by squared. And it is equal to square of this plus twice ax plus by, ax times by plus square of this. Now we know earlier a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So we can use actually this result to get this results. Here, this one we think about a and this think about a new b. So then we use this results. So we need ax plus by squared. ax plus by squared. Obviously, we can multiply x plus by and get this results. Or we can think this one has our new a and this one has our new b. This is a and this is b. Then we're going to use this results. What do you get? a squared. In this situation, so we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. But a is actually simple ax plus 2 times ax and by plus b squared, which is by squared. So that's what we have this result a squared x squared plus 2ia b xy plus b squared y squared. Now let's put this into a simple example problem. Suppose we want to find 6x plus 4y squared. So what we have squared of this which gives give you 36x squared plus 2 times, let me write it first, 6x times 4y plus 4y squared which I get 16y squared. Now 36x squared plus 6 times 4 is 24. 24 times 2, which is 48xy plus 16y squared. Now, since 6x plus 4y squared means 6x plus 4y times 6x plus 4y, and this means 6x plus 4y times 6, we can think about this as the area of a, a square of the length L of 6x plus 4y because area of a square is L squared or length times the length or length times the width but they are both the same. Now that means if we consider square of length 6x plus 4y Now, the area of the large rectangle is clearly the sum of the area of the smaller rectangles. 
Now let's write the area of the, all the small rectangles. So area of the blue rectangle is 6x times 6x, which is 36x squared. And area of this rectangle, which is 6x is the length, the width is 4y, that will give you 24xy. And area of this rectangle is length is 4y, the width is 6x, so 4y times 6x, which is 24xy. And the area of the last one, which is length is 4y, and the width also 4y, over here width is 4y. So we get 16y squared, this results. Now, if we add these two, we get 48xy. So, because this comes as twice, this is 24xy and 24xy.